How do you do, y'all? This is John, and today we're talking about Vivarium, a new mo movie that was released in March, starring Jesse Eisenberg and Imogen Poots, I believe her name is. And then Vivarium, this married couple, or at least I assume they're married, are trying to find a new house and find one in this place called Yonder only to discover they're stuck in a maze of nothing but houses. Now, first of all, I really like the acting in this movie. I think everyone did very well, especially Jesse Eisenberg. Of kind of goes completely insane in the movie. As a matter of fact, both of them go completely insane. However, kind of on different levels. Their performances really sell the idea that they're going nuts, that they're going completely insane. The concept is also very promising. Being stuck somewhere where every house looks the exact same, or at least every building, would make me go nuts. Because I hate that kind of stuff. The whole everything's the same sort of thing. I like that different things. I like everything being different. I like people being different. If I live in an area where everyone's exactly the same, I would want to leave. And if I live in an area where every building is exactly the same, again, I would want to leave. Because I don't like the idea of everything being the same. I also think they nailed up the tone. This is a very dark movie. It's very menacing. There's an aura of suspense everywhere. And I think they had done the right thing with the tone. However... Overall, I did not enjoy this movie, and I will get to why right now. The narrative is completely confusing. You're told this movie's going to be about one thing, but then moves on to something else. Then it moves on to another thing. And then it moves on to, to another thing. It's completely confusing. But the whole time I was sitting there... Thinking to myself, okay, what are they going to crap out now and expect me to sell? Because I wasn't selling anything. The whole narrative was a complete cluster fire. Nothing seemed in order. Nothing seemed to be cohesive. Everything felt... You, you, can, you can see with, you know, my thoughts, you know, I just... I didn't get it. I didn't get anything about this movie. Also, the movie's an hour and a half long, and it felt like four hours. And I've watched four-hour movies with better pacing than this. Heck, the movie Gettysburg, the longest film ever made in U.S. history, was four and a half hours long, and it felt an hour and a half shorter than it actually was. This movie feels as a it's as long as Gettysburg. And a movie that feels longer than it should be, or longer than it is, I take issues with that. Granted, I appreciate the occasional slow-paced movie, but not like this. Also, this is kind of like Inception or 2001 A Space Odyssey, where everything's up to interpretation. But it's not as well done as Inception or 2001 A Space Odyssey. Those two movies leave you a few breadcrumbs for you to basically guess what they're trying to say, what their message is. Leave you breadcrumbs to create theories. There are no breadcrumbs here. There is no possible way for us to really think and really come up with theories as to what everything that goes on in this movie is. 
for what message they're trying to say. It's in the end, Vivarium, you know, it had an interesting concept. It had potential. They did some things right. In the end, it's a complete mess. I'll just simply have to say Vivarium is drunk. Have you guys seen Vivarium? If you have, please share your thoughts in the comment section. Please smack that like button if you enjoyed this video. Please smack the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And please remember the boat.